The first paint we're going to use is Scale 75's Pink Flesh. I probably did about three to five coats of this. I'm only going to show you one because it's a pretty standard base coat. Um, the next step is Scale 75's Basic Flesh. And I'm going to do this everywhere except for the deep recesses. Next is uh, Citadel Paints Curebird Crimson, and I am just covering this with it, um, except for the the top peaks and the top of the fold there. I want to leave that fairly light; doesn't need to kind of get that that reddish hue. Then I go back over with some basic flesh, uh, glazing it on again, trying to get a better transition and lighten up the highlighted areas but leaving more of a dark red hue in those recesses. Now that you can see my palette again, the next is our extreme highlight which is Scale 75 Pale Skin. I'm going to do this on the tops of the folds that you can see there. I'm going to do that in all the top of the creases, down the center, and I'm going to do it on the sides and bottom on that fringe, just kind of where the light should hit it the most. This is a thin layer. Um, most of mine are. I, I tend to be a glaze painter over anything else. The next step being, I guess you could call this our, our shadow, but it's Citadel's Blood for Blood God. And, um, I've thinned it down uh, quite a bit, and I'm just hitting those extreme recesses. Um, some areas I'll leave a little bit lighter, but as you'll start to see here, I really focus on that deep recess on the um, right hand side, or the left if it's on the model. Um, because I really wanted it to look a, a bit gory and grimy, because that's how I did curves. bit you're gonna see me take the actual brush and then I'm gonna start flicking the blood for the blood god onto it just to kind of get a bit of a splattered look And there you have it. Grimy, blood splattered, flayed skin. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and as always, keep painting everyone.